What's going on? Welcome to Gaming with Bare Hands. It's been a little while. I wanted to make an update video for you guys because life has been incredibly hectic and I just haven't been able to record. I really haven't been able to play that much. Yesterday was the first day that we had internet in our new bus house and we actually just moved in uh, a couple of days ago and it has been awesome this is what i've been working on so hard and that's why things have been kind of sporadic i'll do a walkthrough and show this whole thing to you in the future uh but right now i still have some things i want to finish on it kind of button things up and uh clean it up it's got a little bit more work to do things are going to be a little hectic still for the weeks to come and so my upload routine is still going to be thrown off a little bit i apologize for that i really wish i could make videos during this time but first things first big life issues going on here with moving and probably selling the house here soon that we used to live in and all of that it's just kind of taken over and so i know you guys understand can't wait to be back with regular uploads really enjoy playing clash royale with you guys i don't want you to think that there's any other reason to this other than things have just been so busy let's jump into a replay well uh while we talk here this is the first game that i played today kind of threw down uh, a game against caleb let's just call him caleb we don't know what all that other stuff is i feel like a lot of people throw all this weird stuff around their name i wonder if there's like a troll out there saying you'll get cool symbols if you throw all this junk on either side of your name or maybe I just don't understand and that's what the cool kids are doing. I don't know, uh, but we're playing against a minor rocket hog deck in this game and it is pretty fun. We go ahead and activate our King's Tower, use our Mega Minion on those regular minions, uh, clean them up. Pretty equal trade there. It's just going to fly to its death. Death, the golem, or the, the golem, the bowler. Guys, I haven't changed. We still don't know what any of the, call, the cards are called. I cannot talk today. <laughs> the... All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this hog back here with all the rest of the units to prevent tons of damage on our tower. And Baby Dragon's going to clean up the fire spirits, run over to the tower. Also, kind of really want to test out how sound is going to work in the bus. We've got a fan going. It could get pretty hot in here. Uh, air conditioning, we're not going to run while I'm recording because it's right here, and it's probably going to be super loud. Jess is back here on the couch. Uh, we're going to cover her up with our hulkiness here. And, uh, yeah, as this game progresses here and we test out the acoustics of El Bus, we're going to go ahead and defend against this miner. Take a couple of shots from the goblins there. Really want to build up a nice push here with the bowler-graveyard combination. I was a little hasty with it in this game, I'll be honest. I will be honest. Also, pretty excited uh, about in the future possibly getting a nice video camera for a little bit better quality. Right now I'm just playing off of this this uh, webcam built into the laptop, so it might not be, as you noticed, the best quality, but we work with what we got. Well, we've got it. We've got the hog pulling that over to the middle. Probably needed to angle that tornado a little bit lower toward the king tower, and that way you have all three towers shooting at it. New mistake. It's okay. We all do it. Mega Minion's going to chip away at these minions, take care of them. The Poison Spell's going to take care of the goblins, and unfortunately, just slightly off place for those archers. So we're not going to clean up the archers at the same time. Only one of them is end going to end up getting uh, asphyxiated, I guess. Here comes the hog. I'm going to go ahead and pull the hog. Check this out. Evading the bowler, the fire spirits get pushed by the hog and then end up jumping into the tower with all of that defense down. That is the... That is that amazingness of that miner able to redirect units and get those get those back end small units to the tower. It is vicious. We've got the poison down here. We've got the graveyard going. Maybe the graveyard needed to be up another tile, but I don't know. We're going to defend against this miner. Get the skeletons down there to just kind of speed it along because we don't want to take any damage knowing that he's got a rocket. And we also want to build up a nice push here. So we're going to go ahead and throw the graveyard down. Uh, here comes the hog. We get the poison down. He completely exhausts his elixir on here. And we're able to pull that hog back there with one skeleton remaining to help clean it up there. Again, placed the tornado in the wrong spot. But with the skeleton helping, it really didn't matter. We were able to take the hog out. So good game against Caleb. Let's see if we can't recreate that with some live action gameplay. 
Sorry we don't have any new uh, decks or anything like that to show with you guys. Like I said, I haven't played pretty much at all. Yesterday was our first day with internet. Uh, I'm going to start off with the bowler in the back here. He's going to come in with the hog. So I'm going to tornado the hog. Uh, if I didn't throw the bowler down, then I would have been able to play or pull that hog to the center. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. He has got a knight coming in here. I'm going to throw baby dragon down. And then poison. I'm not, to, I'm not going to commit to the graveyard uh, simply because I don't feel like that would be the best play. And let's go Mega Minion Skeletons uh, on this hog. Take one hog shot there. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Kind of evens the uh, game out. I am actually a little bit help, a little bit lower on the health there. His knight's going to soak to the Mega Minion. And I'm almost tempted to switch lanes here. I'm going to throw the Bullard back here. Oh, should have seen that coming. He misses! Okay. He misses. Well, now I'm actually pretty happy that we switched lanes here. Has he shown minions? Let's go ahead and poison graveyard. There we go. With the knight helping out, knight's a great counter there. His tower is going to take a little bit of damage, but not too much. And let's go ahead and mega minion. I want to pull the hog to my king tower. I will not be satisfied until we pull the hog to the king tower. There we go. Let's pull the hog. Three up. It's going to hit one. It's going to come to the middle. Hit it. There we go. Oh, worst play ever. I'm going to throw an oops out there because he's going to rocket my bowler. I'm going to throw the baby dragon in the back now. Knight to tank. Mega minion. We're going to start the poison first, and then we're going to graveyard. Here comes his hog. Hog's gonna go to the middle. Concentrating. He's gonna rock it again. I feel like he shouldn't be able to just rock it and get away with it. But I feel like he is. His defense against the graveyard is super strong. Uh, skeletons are doing a ton of work though, and I believe this is it. Poison should kill the, kill the tower. Poison is gonna kill the tower, and we were this close to death, guys. Sorry, my common common commentation got a little bit uh, lacking there because I was concentrating, and we get. And we get this awesome, what is this, a giant chest? Yeah, I've played Clash Royale before. Let's do one more game. Probably going to be a little bit little bit shorter of a video, but I've got some things to do, and I actually have to go here in the next couple of minutes. Um, I think Mega Minion is my slowest and lightest play right now, so we're going to go with the Mega Minion. And then the Bowler, because why not? You know what? Uh, we're going to hit that with the uh, bowler, but I'm going to be able to pull him so close to the king's tower uh, that we're going to have plenty of time. Uh, let's go ahead and knight. I'm going to throw skeletons down. He's going to mega minion. And then uh, regular minions. I'm actually, I'm actually considering switching lanes here. So I'm going to mega minion... And then I'm just going to hold off and throw my bowler in the back. Bowler in the back. 
He does have minions to throw behind that uh, royal giant. So what I want to do... Interesting. Interesting. All right, he's going to minion, so I'm going to poison. Oh, he's going to level 13 barbarians. Very interesting. Boulder's going to clean those up. I feel like his uh, royal giant's coming, so I'm just going to throw the knight down. We've kind of evened out the game here a little bit. He's just waiting for that royal giant push. Let's bowler. Oh, how see, I feel like I pulled him back and he still got that shot off. That's just the worst. Go ahead and baby dragon. Giving him uh, an awesome opportunity to go ahead and graveyard or uh, fireball us. I'm going to poison the uh, level 13 Barbarians again. He's going to go ahead and Mega Minion us. That's okay. Throw another bowler. Throw another bowler. I really need to prevent as much damage to the tower as possible. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can, uh, hefty levels too, and we didn't really have, in my opinion, the best rotation. I think his fireball can take us out right now. Yes, it can. Good game. Gotta love the oops. Good game. Well played. Can't win them all, guys, and I'm a little bit rusty, so apologize the game apologize. I apologize for the gameplay. This is the deck we're still running. I appreciate your patience with the uploads. Thanks so much for stopping in for this video, though. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know how you like the setup. Probably we'll be tweaking some things like lighting, maybe a new camera, stuff like that in the future. So stay tuned for more interesting things with gaming with bare hands. Wherever you are in your day, make it awesome. I'll see you next time.